Uh, good morning, everybody. Track Rider Trucking here, Curtis speaking. Just thought I'd give you another update. Sorry, I moved something there. I uh, hope everybody's had a wonderful evening, a wonderful day. Uh, everybody knows that I'm on my way to Pennsylvania because I noted that on the video the other day. Well, I made my second stop, and I mean, I just stopped for the day, and it was a short run. Uh, but I got a, I got a couple of friends that I come and visit if I get an opportunity around the Columbus, Ohio area. And I had an extra day, so I said, you know, let's stop by and see him. I hadn't seen him in about three or four months. And a good friend of mine, and we, uh, we've known each other for almost 10 years now. Uh, we worked together when I was in the construction industry in Colorado Springs. That's where I met him at. And uh, <coughs> we, did the, we did the Great Wolf Lodge. Uh, across from the uh, U.S. Air Force Academy there on 25 in Colorado Springs, and that's where I met him, him and his wonderful wife, uh, Chrissy, and uh, been a best friend of mine. We've stuck together. We've communicated all the time since I left the, the company several several years ago. So ever he calls me every morning, checks on me, see how I'm doing as far as driving. He used to be an old truck driver himself back in the day, uh, but now he's a master plumber. And I mentioned this a couple times, but anyway, they have a, there's a little place off of 270 on Interstate 23. Everybody, kind of, a lot of people know 23. It's kind of made your hub back and forth on the truck driving stuff. And I stopped off there at a, one of these brand new, they got a brand new marathon truck stop. Not very many spots, 14, right across from the casino. So I stopped in and him and his wife, wonderful wife, uh, Bill, Bill and his wife, come over and pick me up. And we kind of took off and running around when we had lunch together. And we came back and Chrissy kept saying, you got a surprise for you. And I said, nah, whatever. So we went back to their hotel. And, well, they actually live in a, a motel for now. And uh, right down the road, about a block down from my truck. And what was funny was, is that I seen a bunch of cops. Didn't know what was going on. So apparently what's going on is you know, the campaign trail is going on hard and heavy between uh, President Trump and uh, Biden. And uh, apparently the president was scheduled to speak at a location about nine miles south here, Circleville, Ohio, yesterday. And uh, for his campaign, you know, he's doing his campaign run. He's in North Carolina, and then he went to, he came here, and he was supposed to go somewhere else this evening. I wasn't sure, I can't remember, but anyway. So in other words, he flew into a little airport, it used to be an old Air Force base right down the road here. So they barricaded, locked everything down, and the bonus was I got to see the president's motorcade. So that was pretty cool, and we, uh, my camera, or my video, like I'm doing now, wouldn't show it. My, for some reason, mine just clammed up on me, it didn't work, which makes me mad. So, but my my best friend, my, my friend's wife, he, Christy, she took it kind of a dorky thing and I'm going to see how about learning how to post it for y'all but actuality we thought the motorcade would move fast because it had to get to Circleville well apparently he slowed down because all the Trump supporters were kind of right on the road you know right along the highway there and he slowed to a crawl and I'm telling you guys this is no, no joke no lie he was probably about oh I'd say not even 50 feet away from me in the big you know the even on the big limo, and he actually turned, you know, and I gave him the thumbs up, and he turned around and waved and went like this to me and looked dead at me, which he's probably looking at everybody. But hey, that was kind of weird. It was kind of cool, kind of unique. I wasn't expecting that, and, you know, knowing that I was only a few hundred feet or a few hundred feet away from the President of the United States. But I just wanted to let you guys know that was kind of unique and fun. <coughs> kind of a bonus thing for me. But uh, visit with my friends and everything, and they're supposed to be, he's supposed to, or his wife, girlfriend, or whatever, she's supposed to come and pick me up in about an hour. They're going to take me to breakfast, and then I'm going to get on the road and head back, uh, head towards the 90. I've still got a few hours. I try to call them. Uh, a lot of people do this, you know. I try to call see if I get an early delivery, but uh, they wouldn't accept it. I can be there three hours early prior to my appointment at 530 in the morning, tomorrow morning. But uh, they wouldn't take me any earlier than that. So I'm kind of stuck on this one, and 
anyway, which is fine. I, you know, it's it's okay. It was good paying load, and and that's what we're doing. It's a repowered load. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna hook it up. I've got a location I'm planning on stopping at in about four hours. I'm only 206 from it. Uh, uh, there ain't nothing around the uh, Mount Pleasant, Pennsylvania. There ain't nowhere, nothing near it. Either you're gonna try to park there on site, and they say you can park on the street. Uh, yeah, I'm iffy about that. You know, I don't know if that's true, but that's what it said on the notes. And then you can check in. So I'm not gonna make that attempt, I don't think. Uh, there's a Flying J uh, about 16 miles away off of 70, and I'm going to try to shoot for that one. There's a Flying J, and then there's another truck stop across, a no-name truck stop across the way. Both of them look like, like they have pretty good parking, but we're going to see. Cause lately, I mean, it's, parking for trucks has been a pain in the butt. Sorry, I had to do something. Parking for uh, semis right now has been a pain in the butt across the board because freight has picked up so horrendously in the last month or two. So it's really, you got to really plan your system out or you're going to be stuck on the highway or somewhere and not place to stay. And since I don't have a whole lot to go, I'm going to go get this place, get settled in, and then I'm going to try to get a shower in and then I'm going to just sit because the best thing for me to do is sit until I reset and get a good fresh clock. So I would prefer to have stayed there on site next to on the road, but if there's no shower facility, because guys, I need to go get a shower. I don't like to go more than three days, no more than three days without a shower. And we're gonna see if I can get in there and slip in there and park. And then we're going to uh, relax for a little while, take get and go to bed early. And then I gotta get up early in the morning and head in. So I've got three hours prior. So anywhere between 2.30, 2.30 and 5.30, I'm be there. 5.30 is my appointment, so between I'd say between 1.30 and 3.30, I need to, 4.30, I'd be there. So everything looks pretty smooth for right now. A uh, question came up, I noticed on the Facebook page, and you guys need to help me out on this. I noticed during training, uh, we didn't have a lot of problems with the tires. And of course, our Doran, which you guys, everybody has on a time truck, a door in the little gray box that helps show you your tire pressure, and it goes off and gets to slow a certain level. Uh, I've been having issues with that in the last couple of days, not because it's no problem, it's just tell them, keeps telling me I have low tire pressure. Now, yesterday was a little different. Usually it's only my lock, but left, back, rear, driver's side, rear, drive, tire, the back one on the driver's side. And it's always been losing air, but gaining air like that. Now, I've looked at it, I've checked it all over, I've seen no nails, no perpetrations, no nothing. I don't see any leaks. And you know I've got, had my first tire issue here about a month ago. <coughs> and I'm still paying for that. But anyway, I'm just kind of curious, is this a constant deal? Because it didn't have them on, on the peak when I was with my train, trainer. We, I think we had one problem one time, and that's all I can remember us having problems with our tires. I had three tires go below the 80. I guess when it hits 88 PSI on any tire, these little the little black knobs that you have on your tires that activate this sensor, apparently it goes off and it sets that little red light off and it keeps beeping unless you push it off and then you watch it and it shows you which tire is low. But like yesterday when I got ready to leave that uh, Road King over on Marshall, Illinois, I noticed it again. So I actually did a pulled out my pull out my hose, I hooked it up, and then it takes forever, it seems like, to <laughs> air up a tire to the specifications. Now, I've read several things, I've put it on Google, Google says 75 to 80 pounds, which, eh, that ain't going to work, so I was told that if we run 100 pounds, you can run up, put in 100 pounds on your drive, and 110 pounds on your steer tires. So, any help or any comment on that would be greatly, and if you guys got the same kind of problem, let me know, it's like, I wonder if it's just a me or if it's happening across the board. But I appreciate that comment. Uh, only at nine minutes now. I'm trying to keep it short, guys, because I know you guys are doing your thing. Uh, shout out to everybody, you know, drivers line up. Yeah, I've seen you guys, Eric. You all got a good load going out today, starting today. Good for you. Mine was a meat load as well. My, probably not as good as yours, because you've got to take yours to Maine. <laughs> That's cool. 
I've never been to Maine, so I haven't tried that one out yet. But uh, everybody at the DC, glad you got your truck back up. Uh, uh, and Trucker John, the new guy. Uh, and he, now, apparently you're not new. I was told by Stefan you've had some videos out all right, brother. And I am. I apologize. I ain't been watching them. I seen one yesterday where you were actually prepping to go to Pine. Dude, you know, I apologize for that. I didn't know. I didn't, that, that's the first time I'd seen it come up on me. I guess it's because you subscribed to my channel, which I turned did yours. So now I get to watch your videos and see how you've done over your journey so far. I wish you a lot of luck. I see you got your trainer and everything. That's cool. So, wish you a lot of luck out there. Uh, Phil, you guys, everybody. Or you guys don't know what it means to me to see you guys. And I'm up to 236 now, so I'm starting to gain. It's starting to build again. It was a little low, then I dropped one or two, and then I got more people. So I guess the more I quicker I do more videos on a daily basis or on a two-day basis, I'm seeming like I'm picking up more people, and I'm happy about that. You guys are awesome. Uh, any new people out there, guys, if you're watching, just watching an idea of what this life's about. Uh, I wish you would watch my channel. I started from day one. It shows everything that I've done from just like Trucker John is. You need to subscribe to his channel as well. And it shows us how we chronicalize what we started from the day we packed our bags to go to Prime, getting to Prime, going through orientation, and going through the preliminary stuff, the paperwork, and getting the little classes in, and then meeting your trainer for the first time, and then going all the way through the PSD TMT phase, going to take your test, Trivecta, you know, like the Trucker John has, and then also my trainer's uh, student, he passed his, they're out on TNT, they started yesterday, so it's a great opportunity, if you want to get your CDL, I mean, guys, dude, Prime is the place to go, I believe, my, that's my opinion, you know, and to learn, and learn from a good, now, you know, there is trainers out there that well, I understand are not worth a two, but there's, there's a lot more that are good, let me tell you. There might be your handful, but out of all the trainers, that's all I've heard of good reports. But for your ladies, Kiersey, uh, she's another one. She trains women, uh, she, you know, and that's good. I mean, you know, you're open to suggestion. It's your call. If you go out there, you're a female or male, females especially, <coughs> you don't necessarily have to have a woman trainer. You can have a guy trainer. It's just that you got to be, you know, you you, you just got to deal with the situation. I mean, it's your it's your deal. You can choose whether you want a female or male. Anybody can, any, any way you want to go. I've noticed some guys they pick females. And, you know, when I wrote down mine, I said no pressure. You know, I discussed it with my wife, and I said, hey, look, if, if they've been on the road more than I have. They know their business, and I mean, you know. If, if I get selected by a female, I don't see no problem in that, you know. But anyway, if, if you choose to come, man, it would be awesome to have you guys on board and everything. I mean, freight is phenomenal. It's picking up so good now, guys, especially coming up with the holiday season just around the corner. And, you know, there's a lot of opportunities out there for people. And I'm enjoying it. I'm starting to pick up, you know. I had my issues the first part of my trip and my first part of my journey while I got my truck, but, you know, it's kind of settled down. And it's come, I'm not saying it's over, because it's never over. We never know what's going to happen from day to day. But, you know, it's get, I'm getting into the routine now. So my saying is, you guys, if you need, you know, if you're interested in coming to Prime, please, please, if you use my driver referral, if, 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 you know, and I'll post it in the remarks if I can remember to do that. I have a potential cheap fan, very small. But my... Uh, my bar, my, my uh, driver code, referral driver code is B-A-R-C-U-D. That's B-A-R-C-U-D. Bar code. And uh, I would appreciate the referral. It's phenomenal. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel or you're just first time watching the video, you gotta, you need to subscribe and comment and like. I love the comments. Don't get me wrong. And ring the bell because the bell will let you know whenever I post a video or whatever. And then go back into my history and you'll see from day one what I've done all the way through today. But anyway, guys, I'm ranting. I just wanted to let you know that was a pretty cool bonus today to see yesterday when I come here with just to see my, 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 my buddy and his wife. And I got to see Donald Trump, too. So that was pretty cool. But uh, getting ready to head out here probably in a couple of hours. I'm going to go have breakfast with my buddy and his wife. And then we're going to I'm gonna load up the truck. Uh, and... Get ready to roll. 
I'm going to do another day, and then uh, hopefully if we get settled in early today, I might just, uh, we might sit down and I'll announce about doing a live video and see how many people want to come on just to chat and have a good day. It's, you know, it's a lonely life out here. I mean, I miss my family. I wish I was home, and, but it is what it is. got to make a living. So y'all have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon, but take care of yourselves. Be safe. Always be safe. Don't take any chances out there. Winter's coming up. You know, it's the way it is. And I just want to keep reminding you, my motto is we always keep driving and we always keep striving for perfection. You all have a great day, you know. Talk to you soon. Bye now.